Hey riders, and welcome to your Sticks Riding Park. As you can tell, we're back outside and it's nice and sunny. It's a little bit high here, but that's okay. And with that, I want to use this to get back into the characters a little bit more. And today, what I want to focus on is dialogue. Now, no doubt, dialogue is something that you've seen and heard a lot, and something that you've even used in your own stories that you've submitted to me. But the reason why I want to focus on dialogue a little bit more today is because sometimes dialogue isn't quite perceived the right way, I feel like. Sometimes, and maybe you've experienced this in a story that you've read, but sometimes I'll be reading like a conversation or I'll be reading some dialogue and it just starts to feel like, you know, are these the characters talking or is this the writer talking? And I feel like that's a really important distinction. Because remember, when you're writing dialogue, you're speaking strictly from the character's perspective. You're in their mind. You're saying what they would say. Yet, oftentimes, I feel like as writers, even myself included, we have a temptation to want to put in something that we would say, something that we would do. And while it's important to bring in our own real-life inspirations, I think it's also important to let each character stand for themselves and speak for themselves. Because then that leads us into really interesting situations and sometimes can surprise us in a way as writers. So with that, today I want to make our prompt strictly about dialogue. And I want to split it into two parts, something that you've probably gotten used to me doing because I can never decide which direction I want to take this in. So using only dialogue in this prompt, I want you to come up with two separate situations. In the first situation, I want you to come up with something where, a scene where two characters are in conflict with each other. They can either be disagreeing with each other, they can be like in a fight, anything like that. Any sort of conflict where they're going to be butting heads a little bit. But I don't want you to write it as, you know, one character is clearly wrong and one character is clearly right. I want you to really give each character their own viewpoint and let them kind of both be right a little bit and also kind of both be wrong. Because isn't that how real life is sometimes? We're not always right, we're not always wrong. Sometimes it's in the middle. Sometimes it's really just a difference of opinion. And then in the second situation, scene situation, I'm sorry, I want you to write a scene in which they're not disagreeing, in which they're not in conflict, but it's just two people talking to each other. They can either be, you know, maybe learning something about each other, or learning something together about something else entirely, or just having a conversation as you would with one of your friends. But again, like, try to stay away from, you know, I like chocolate ice cream. Oh, I like chocolate ice cream too. Oh, you know, I also like vanilla ice cream. Oh, me too, that sort of thing. Try to make it to where, again, each character, each side of the conversation has their own clear viewpoint, but yet they're not in conflict. They're talking to each other. They're agreeing on something. They're coming together. And then I want you to look at those two scenes after you're done and look at the tones of each scene. Look at how each character responds to each other in the scene. Look at maybe, you know, how each character is talking in the scene. If you're in conflict, you're probably going to respond or talk differently than you will if you aren't in conflict with somebody, right? And I want you to look at those things. Look at how they make a difference in your writing. And then, Think about how you can use that in your own dialogue, and your own characters for writing that comes up in the future. Alright? Now, with that, I'm going to leave you to it, and have a good weekend. Have a good week, have a good time, and have fun writing. See you next time.